Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. How you doing everybody and welcome to another edition of the Comic Book Pop-Up Shop Show. That's right. It's the show where JB, who by the way is sporting the sick Lords of the Long Box T, size large by the way. Shout out to my man TiVo for hooking me up with a t-shirt. And you know how I feel about the t-shirts, folks. I love my t-shirts. Plus, I love this channel, by the way. This is a channel right now that is a testament to you got to have good content and you can come back. Because after they lost that channel, after with all those subscribers and all those views, I was like, wow, I can't believe this. And boom, they came back faster than ever because they put out fire content. Shout out to TiVo, by the way. All right, let me go ahead and uh, we're going to let this play out to the end. All right, all right, all right. Well, I got a couple of guests with me here. I got my esteemed biggest shack below me. I got Big Will to the left of me. I know Big Will had a great morning. Hey, you know, Big Will, why don't you tell the, why don't you tell the people watching us live, watching us on the replay, how's that thing going, man? You actually went hunting today. What do you think? I think it went pretty good. I had a budget of 164. I wound up spending 55, so I got 109 left. I got eight books specifically to resell. Okay. And uh, I, th I think we're going to be all right. All right. All right. I want to take a quick moment to shout out the people who are joining us live right now. Uh, here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 2.30 p.m. Pacific, 5.30 p.m. Eastern. It's the comic book pop-up shop show with JB. I'm JB, by the way. This is Discovery Bay Comics. If you haven't been here before or if you're watching on the Rewind. And this is the show where I'm going to offer a buy it now style. What I like to call the keep it thorough style starting line auction for the people who are joining us in the chat, the live chat. Everyone joining in the live show has an opportunity to be the first to claim the books that are put up in a buy it now opportunity. And these are dollar books, you know, dollar rounds, three dollar rounds. And uh, we try to make fun, try to have fun with it. And any book that goes unclaimed can always be claimed by uh, commenting in the uh, video description below, uh, either with the, with the round and the uh, letter, and I can start a pile for you, or I can uh, add to a pile that's already existing. A lot of shipments went out today, folks. You could uh, a lot of shipments have been received in the last couple of days, so things are starting to starting to really click now. And uh, Biggie, you are also hunting. Yo. Tell me, what did you hit? Yeah, I know dude. you're going to show me some stuff. I'm going to throw you oh, big screen because you're going to bust you know out some books, baby. Through, you know he came through with some books. Show me some books, Biggie. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, man. Mm. And then, this, this is the one right here, Big Discovery, dude. Boom. Boom. Wonder Woman. That's mod era. Very nice. Hawaiian Punch in the house. Pope Cerebus for the first. Thanks for stopping by. Jig's Kingdom is the man. Thank you very much for stopping in. Um, that is good, good stuff, man. So a question for you. When you guys go hunting in places like this, you know, long boxes have been out for quite a while. Do you immediately rebag and reboard this stuff? Or, do, or does each book kind of hit or miss? Like, hey, this one doesn't need to be, but man, this thing looks like it's 30 years old. I only do because my shop has a little sticker with a price and barcode on every bag and board. So yeah, so you got to take that off. That. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Biggie? Does it depend on the bat, the uh, the actual comic itself, or some of them you're well, like, yeah, I, I got to replace them all. If it's a banger, dude, I put it in mylar. But if it's nice. if it's in a good bag, I'll, I'll keep it in there. But if it's in a bad bag, absolutely, dude. I always. Thanks for joining me, old wolf. Yeah, you know, my strategy when I'm digging through long boxes, especially if you're like if you're out of the flea market, even I gotta change them all. Gotta change every single one of them. I don't want any of those bags and boards touching any of my collection, man. That shit gotta go. So yeah, most of these I you know every everything here is just in regular new, but almost all of these are in new bags. What about books? I mean, almost everything that I'm putting up today is in a brand new bag. Just because they look so funky. Even yeah, I rebagged the books that I'm selling for a dollar. Yes, I did. I rebagged oh. books that I'm selling for a dollar because I'm not so that way. It looks so much better. I mean, they do. they do. You know, they feel better. I don't want to be touching all that funka funka. Nah. You know, yeah. ain't happening. Anyway, so what we're gonna do here today is uh, I'm really gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep the pace this time, right? So this is what I got planned. I'm gonna go ten rounds, and after five, oh wait a minute, big lion cat's in the house. Hey, you do? I wanted to shout out big lion cat. But after five rounds, I'm going to break. 
We're going to go check out the page and see what's on the lineup for tonight's live shows because there is some stuff going on tonight, including the boy who had seven has got a real special guest tonight. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was me, by Wonder the way. Who? That's me, by the way. If you didn't know, it's me. I'm the guest <laughs> on the Boy Who Had 7 show. So, yes, I'm uh, pretty excited about That's that. Cool, Chad man. RCG's announced. Thank you for stopping by, sir. Can, wait a minute. Dude, RCG. Has there ever he, been he a, somebody? Uh, please tell me you bought some freak. Oh, I got to get my thing up. You know where I'm going. Please tell me you bought some lottery tickets. Holy Dude, Chad hit it twice, man. That's crazy. You know what they say, bro? Comic karma is real. Holy moly. Chad hit it twice. If you didn't know, he hit another GP over at the Spider-Man booth box, which I think is the boxes that I have coming in. So thanks for that. <laughs> 181 and AF-15. Right? <laughs> All right. Who else do we have in here? Wolf Blitz is stopping by. Uh, thank you very much. Beast3YT. Hey, everybody. Or hi, everybody. Thanks for stopping in. Second Street Marvel Trinity in the house. He said, just talk, uh, Pope Service first. I just bought 10 packs of new polypropylene bags. And if I only have one and a half packs left, I bought bags in four and a half months. Oh, my goodness. Man, I go through bags. What, let's see, you're not buying that new sh coming off the rack. The place that I had to go to today, I don't know if you guys saw, I put up my Instagram. I'll throw it up. Hey, you know, we got a little time to chit chat a little bit. Let some people come in. Um, this is my uh, haul from uh, Chino Comics and more today. Man, that's a nice haul. But of course, Ooh, there was stuff that I that absolutely haul, couldn't dude. wait. Huh? Yeah, that's a pretty that's serious a haul, haul, right? Bro. You got Batman, White Knight. Man, I, I, you know, I got a little crazy. The only one that I'm not a reader of, but I had to have just because I heard all the drop and hype over it is this Turtles 100. It seems like, you know how I'm talking about if you're only going to have the keys... If you're only going to have the keys, a, ma a major keys of a run, then I might as well pick that up, just like I did for Walking Dead. I don't I don't collect Walking Dead, but I got the last issue. I got a couple of important keys, and if I happen upon a one, that's all you need. Everything else you don't need. I opinion. think Splinter dies in that one. That's what they were saying. I wasn't going to go dropping all kinds of spoilers. I didn't put spoiler alert on it. Damn. Look at well, that. I don't know for sure. I didn't even blowing know. it up. Holy moly. Yeah, yeah, that's what they say. That Well, they, I already saw it on Instagram. I mean, you, you can't be on social media these days without just seeing everything that freaking comes out about everything. So yeah, Fish we'll Tropics in the house. Thank you very much. Um, okay, you know what? Maybe we should get started because we got books to go through. We're going to go through 10 rounds. Like I said, at the, after the fifth round, we're going to break for a quick, uh, basically, a what's on today with Discovery Bay. I'm going to go through the lineup just because I feel... Like that's fun shit to do, and plus I want to plug my boys at Lords uh, Lords of the Long Box again, and they're going to be doing some stuff tonight. Shout out to TiVo, I wear size large, and uh, let's get started. So let's uh, go ahead and switch this camera on over to the this camera and see if we got. Yes, we do. Oh, I'm probably going to have to move that over. Yep. That is death. Ouch. The headphones in the ears. We got to be careful, people, with the headphones in the ears. When you're trying to move it around like this. Okay. So we get that change there. I've got the overlay, my branding for this first round. First round's a dollar. Shipping rates apply. If you've got a pile going already, we can add to it and get your name on the wheel to spin for free shipping. That's right. Somebody who's participating in the live show today is going to get free shipping. We're going to put your name on the wheel. And we're going to spin for free shipping. All right, let's get this show started off right. I may have to adjust the cameras. I got to get this. I don't need my logo up there because he seems to be in the way. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll probably have to adjust camera. Definitely. So the first book. Man, the camera's not even close. What the hell, my friend? Jeez. I'll do it. Okay, so the first book up in the dollar round. Fantastic Four, number 344. Ooh, baby. I'm going to throw that one right up there. If you collect them like I do, I've probably got a couple of, two or three copies of that. Next up is Grumble number two. Grumble number two, one dollar. Going right there in the H position. And this angle seems bad. Next up is Aquaman 19. God, if you're saying, JB, some of these books look familiar. Like, didn't I just see these yesterday? You did, if you participated in the sorting show. So every Tuesday and Thursday, we're sorting through short boxes, trying to get some books ready for this sale. 
And Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 2.30 p.m. Pacific, 5.30 p.m. Eastern, we're going pop-up shop. Next one is Exciting Comics number one. Grab that for a dollar. Okay, next up we got Millar and McNiven's Nemesis, second printing variant, issue one. Millar, hey, I'm not going to say those words because everything is freaking optioned, right? Come on. Uh, Ultimate Fantastic Four, issue number four. Ultimate Fantastic Four, issue number four. This is not the FF4 that is a key because that's probably why I bought it and I was wrong. So that's just a dollar. Next up, we've got Drowned Earth Aquaman tie-in. So it's Aquaman number 41. Here we go. It's a Drowned Earth tie-in, Aquaman number 41. Where's BLC? You still there, BLC? This one's a dollar. We can get that in the box going for you. All right, next up, we've got The Thing, number two of four. And where's Steven Spock? That is a reflection cover, my friend. Reflection in there. Yep, Broken Mirror. I'm just dialing you. I know we collect those. It's only a dollar. Okay, next one up is The Fallen, number one, Civil War II tie-in. There you go, $1 comic going right up here in the B position. All right, next up we've got from Xenoscope, Revenge of Wonderland. Man, that's a creepy looking. Oh, yeah, that's a big, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. All right, I know I've got the adult warning, but we'll keep that one to myself. Next up we've got Black Panther, number 10. And this is a variant cover. Man, I can't believe it's in the dollar bin. A variant covers are supposed to be in the threes. But there you go, right there. And the last book in the first round, we've got Supergirl number 29. Man, that didn't this just come out? Uh, but you can have it right now for a dollar. Going right here in the A position. I'm going to hold for a lag. So, Chad, this is what we're going to do today. We're going to go the first seven rounds are going to be one dollar. And then the last three rounds are going to be three dollar rounds. Thank you very much Good for asking. Okay, let's get the starting lineup jumping on. And JB, what's the starting lineup? Let me explain. The people that are joining me live have that first opportunity to claim books just by entering the letter that they're interested in after the starting line. So this is the starting line for round one. First, let me copy that part so I don't have to write that over and over again. This will be the starting line for round one. And then we'll have a closing line and everything in between. We'll, we'll go ahead and process. After that, if you're watching on the rewind, you can claim a book by referencing the round and the letter, either in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram. Okay, we've started the we've started this off, and let's get started, folks. Who wants to spin the wheel for free shipping today? Comics for all people is one. Comics for all people says, I am in the game, JB, for a dollar round one. Count me in. And he wants to do it with letter D. Comics for all people says, I'll take letter D. I think I think J might be a key, dude. Should I lift this camera up a little bit? <clears throat> uh, I just comic headed. The freaking, uh. <laughs> Sorry, Kenny. Is that better? Because you can't really see the, the you can't see who what D is. Anyway, D is gone. So D is the first claim. Great claim there, Mister Co Comics for all people. That is that's right up your alley. Actually, that's a good claim. Okay. Uh, who what, who's next? Who's next? Up the down seven L. Up the down seven. Thank you very much for joining us today on the comic book pop up shop presented by Discovery Bay Comics. And a round Jack one dollar Davis claim. Show. It's the first Atlan. Up the down, and that was letter of uh, this one right here. This L, L. the L. Aquaman died. Aquaman, yes, we looked that up, right? Is that what it was? Yep, first that probably. There you go, one dollar claim. Great choice. Up the down, you're on the wheel. No, actually, you've already got free shipping. We pr probably should get a box out to you here pretty soon. Next up, what do we got? Midwest Comet Man, letter K, exciting comics at the bottom. He said, you know what, JB? Ooh. You sent me that photo. I've got room in that box. Let's go ahead and throw that one in there for a dollar. Midwest. Letter. What letter? K. 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 There you go. All right. Who's next? Jorge has both letter E and A. 
E and A for Mr. Tello. Thank you very much. $1 claims in round one. E and A. E is the variant Black Panther, number 10. And yeah. A is the new Supergirl. I mean, yeah, these things just came out. <laughs> $2. Great buy, Jorge. Great buy. Next up. Steven Spot wants that reflection cover F. Oh, I'm so glad that you're uh you're getting another book, Steven Spot, because I found a couple more books for you. But they're in somebody else's pile. Uh Steven Spock says one dollar claim round one. Take it. What letter was that? F. F F F, F that sting. Oh, the reflection cover. Good call. See, he, he isn't that cool. He collects, and now I and now okay. I see them everywhere. Yeah, I know what you mean. Next, that we got that Joey Bag of Sevens. Joey Bag of Sevens. Thanks for joining me today. What is Joey getting today in the he first is round? Getting both I and H. All right, Joey Bag of Sevens says, "Give me I, give me H, only a dollar." All right. H. All right, then I'll move this tape over the corner, tape these two together. This system is actually working, so that's what ends up happening. I end up taping the books together in that round like that. Okay. Right. Then, uh, so far, so good. All right. Looks, looks on like, my screen, the last claim is letter J from Big O. Is that what you have, Biggie? That's the one I thought would go, yeah. I think that might be something, dude. I've seen it before. All right. Big O says $1. I've got a pile going out there, JB. Go ahead and toss that on that pile. Get the most out of my shipping. Plus, hey, I may win the spin wheel. Spin the wheels. That's Big a good first round. That is an excellent first round. Now, if there's anybody watching on the rewind, and they are watching, um, and you're interested in any of these books, please reference round one and the letter. Let me go ahead and change this back to here, guys. Get the branding off your face. I'm going to get faster and faster at this, I promise. And, uh, ooh, ooh, oh, yes. Let's see what you got. This is one of the books I got, and it's a reflective cover. It is a reflective cover. Ooh, oh, very nice. I love that Doom cover, actually. That's a nice cover. All right. Uh, okay, let's get to round two. See what we've got here in round two. I will change the camera back to here. Nope, to here. Put the branding back over the top. We're going to hit round two. Starting with Hawkeye, number one of five. Dark Rain Hawkeye, number one of five. All right, over there. Next up, we've got Thor God Storm. I don't know what number that is. There you go. Nice. Very cool. Only a dollar. Next up, we've got the Fury of Firestorm, the Nuclear Man, number 45. Some of that 75 cent goodness. Mm -mm. Okay. Next up, we've got Trinity, number 25. And is she wearing the armor that she does in that movie there? Is that what's going on? That's interesting. Perpetua. Is that, oh, is that who that is? Because I had never seen that armor before in that in the trailer. I was like, what the hell is that? Go. All right, next up, we've got Hannah Barbera presents Wacky Raceland, number three. Wacky Raceland, oh, number dude, three. That used to be a fucking great cartoon back in the day, dude. <laughs> is that big dastardly and mutley on the cover? Oh, uh, man. That is. I, right down there. Is that is that an evil version of him down there in the corner? Dastardly and Muttley? Man. Probably. All right, here we Great go. Detective drawing. Comics 1006. Hell hath no fury like the Spectre. One dollar. Ooh. Banger. Next up, Great we've time. got Superman Action Comics number 10 from the New 52. One dollar. Yep. And we've got Deathlock number two. Available for a dollar. Next up, we've got Green Lantern in the New Guardians, number eight. Man, I want to thank the 19 people who are joining us live right here on Discovery Bay Comics Pop-Up Shop Show. 
I appreciate your time. Next up, X Men Gold number two. X Men Gold number two. Oh yeah. How about Fantastic Four number three sixty two? Fantastic Four three sixty two. Man, that one should have been in the threes. What am I doing? All right, next up is Hercules number two. All right, no, no round here, two. I'm waiting Open for lag. the go. I'm waiting for the lag. We've got a little lag. I want to thank the 23 people who are joining me here live for the Discovery Bay comic book pop-up shop show. This is round two. We're going to get the starting line in. We're going to start round two for the people who are joining us live. Anybody claiming a book in the live show will be entered onto the wheel for free shipping. That's right. You heard me right. If you participate in the live show and claim a book, you'll be on that wheel for free shipping. I'll have a pile started for you. If you've already got a pile that's been here, bam, that whole pile is free shipping. Man, what a deal. No whammies. No whammies. We got one claim so far. Comics for all people. Letter E. Comics for all people. It says I will take. I'll claim those all day, JB. You keep throwing yeah. them up there, yeah. and I'll keep claiming them. Got Comics it. for all people. Says I'll take E. Well, this will be a great round for the replay. If you're interested in any of these on the replay for only $1, just reference round two and the letter either in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram. I can add to a pile or I can start a pile if you've already got one going. Oh, Joey Bag of Sevens. Letter I. Wait a minute. I'll take yep. that one right over there for a dollar. Round two claim from Joey Bag of Sevens. I'm going to have to get that guy on the... We need to get you on late night and find out what that handle actually means. Did anybody catch last night's Disco After Dark? We had 36 Chambers Studio in, and it was a great show. Bob World, yeah. F. Bob World, thank you for joining us tonight, today on... Uh, I guess it's tonight, I don't know. It depends on where you're at. On the comic book pop-up shop show, this is round two. Bob World says for a dollar, throw it in my pile, JB. I've got a pile going. Let the interview six is a fascinating dude. Yeah, what did you think of the interview? I thought that uh, he does some killer art, and the stories he had about his family was very, very cool to have sons that are in college. That was cool, you know, and I went to his page, checked out his page. Yeah, that was kind of cool. Check out the guy, you know, check out his page and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and close out round two. Pop close in there. We're gonna change the camera back over here. Where's my where's the mouse? There he is. There's the mouse. We're gonna get the overlay off of your face. And gentlemen, thank you for helping me today. As always. Yeah, thank you for having me, dude. Yep. And that was the end of round two. We're going to go ahead and queue up round three. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is another book that will be available. Another book. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got it. Bro. I love that cover, dude. That is sweet. That looks like a really nice copy, by the way. That's because it is. Yeah. Man. <laughs> very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Well, we've got 26 people joining us live, which is phenomenal. And we're going to get the next round up. This is... Oh, I didn't close. Did I officially close that round? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yes. We're going to get the next round going. This is going to be round three. Uh, this is the... From what I remember this, yesterday, Discovery, you got some bangers coming, dude. I do, man. We sorted yeah. some good books. There's some stuff in here. We're yeah. going to see. We're definitely going to see. Yeah. All right. So... Um, Maybe Dad is wanting to know if you condition the beard. Oh, uh, he, you know it what? A, it's a, gotten a lot softer since it got cold, but I, I sometimes I use coconut shampoo. Let's get the ticker in there. The comic book pop-up shop show. Let's get our branding going back to the next round. This is going to be round three. JB's coming at you live right here from Discovery Bay, California on Discovery Bay Comics YouTube channel. And this is the comic book pop-up shop round three dollar claims. Starting with my favorite artist, 
<laughs> right there for a dollar all day long, still sitting there. That's okay. amazing. All right, how about the first issue from Aspen Comics of Journey, number one? Number one first issue, go. and she looks like she kicked your ass. Is that Michael oh, Turner? Fine. Is it Michael Turner? No, it is not. Motomara. Okay. Motomaria. Motomaria? Hmm. Man, I don't know. Good looking cover. Good looking cover, dollar. Next up, this is the current run, I believe, actually, uh, of the Michael Bendis Superman number five. Oh, yeah. The Kryptonian Alliance. One dollar. I don't remember. We looked this up. Does everybody remember what it was? I can't remember what it was, but it goes for I don't about think a buck. It was that high. It's going for a dollar. I don't know what the hell it is. It's yeah. right there. It was it was like five, six bucks, but you know, it's only one listing. Yep. Um, uh, dude, from December of 2016, a four dollar book mechanica. Interesting oh. right there for a dollar. How man, these xenoscope people know how to draw the wave me. Van Helsing yeah. from Xenoscope number one. Yeah. Yeah, man, Kirby dudes love that shit. Oh my goodness! Next up, we've got Excalibur number ninety-seven versus Spiral. Mm. One dollar. Here's another Excalibur number one fifteen. There you go. Mm. All right. Good. How about Mars Attacks? Image number two. Sweet. And she's another bad. She, she'll hurt you. Doctor Strange, yeah, number good. 10. Here we go. Two more books Doctor in the Strange round. Two. What have we got? What have we got? We've got the all new X Factor, number 17. And wait a minute. There it goes. Comics for all people is like, JB, you lied to me. No, sir. No, I didn't. How about Fantastic Four, number 342? Got to be one of those in every round. Got to be one in every Classic. round. Hold for lag. We're going to hold for lag. I want to thank the 27 people who are joining me live right now. Big Lion Cat's in the house. Midwest Comics says, that's not a Michael Turner. Up the Down says, that's a quarter bin book, JB. You're uh, good to go. All right. Super oh. Russ 9000. I know, right? To sell that life felt. It's not going, my friend. Hey, you got to admit, for all the grief we give him, that particular Superman ain't that bad. It's not. But you know what? I have more fun making fun of it than anything else. Oh, uh, I know. What yeah, are we I think it's all JB, I have a question about the pop-up shop today. You know what? Hit me with that question when I get that starting line going for the 28 people who are joining us live. What you got there, Big Will? Will we be attempting John's suggestion from the other day? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now I was I was really thinking about that and I and I uh you know I always like to converse uh, converse with people who are smarter than I. So I asked Save my wife what she thought memory. about that idea and she said, yeah. "But honey, you got so many people claiming on the rewatch if there was nothing left on every round there wouldn't be anything to watch." Good point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I was looked at her and I said, "I love you, honey." I love you. Yeah, she's smart. <laughs> All right. Well, we have, so we're in round three. We're still in dollar books. Do we have any claims? We have Pope Cerebus the first with letter K. Pope C in the yeah, house yeah. says, give me K. old indies, bro. Bam. Cool books. And then Pope's like, bro, you don't even know what that is. Thank you very much, JB. Let's get that off of there so we can see the books. And we got CFAP for E. You got it. Yeah, I, I love the. Uh, we're gonna have to get a good acronym. We're going CFAP. CFAP one. There it is. It's been. It's it's the CFAP. It is. <laughs> Round right. three. Dollar claim. Right, I'm Letter I'm E. Biggie Shack back up on this next claim here. I have Jorge with letters G, I, and J. Is that what you see, Biggie? Um, G I A who? Jorge. Jorge. Let me see. Um, I see. I see G 
I, and J. That's it. Yeah. Yours for a dollar, my friend. Yours for a dollar. All right. Do we have any other claims? Midwest Comic Man with letters C and H. You got it. Round three dollar claims for Midwest Comic Man. C and H. He likes the ladies. I'll take him. I'll take the pretty ladies. Not a bad round. Not a bad round at all. As I mentioned before, if you're watching us on the Rewind, these books are still available simply by referencing the round. That was round three and dropping a comment below. We have some more guests popping in right now. Let me highlight a couple of comments. We've got the comic intellect in the house and one of my favorites, Donnie the Mastodon. Thanks for stopping by. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and get you guys back on camera. Get the branding off your face. Let's switch this. Oh, I got to officially close the round. I didn't officially close it. Let me officially close the round. Closed round three. There we go. Nobody took the Rob Liefeld. I, isn't that crazy? I don't know what to say. Shocker. Thanks to the 29 people who were joining me live. Do we got any more books to show? What else did you get out there, Big Will? Is there anything else you want to show us? Yeah. You went hunting. I mean, all yeah, these books are going to be available. Oh, mm. shit. That's a banger. Dude, first, where, uh, is that first Deadpool, Wolverine? Yep. Uh, uh, come on, yeah. man. Yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a key, dude. That's a key. Great shopping. I think you're going to do well. I think you're going to do well. I believe all right. so. Let's go ahead and get to round four. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Chad says... I claim life, LJB. And I want no! Really? Hey, if Go he's ahead. willing to pay for it, do it, man. Get you some views. Hey, bro. RCG's feeling good right now. He just got that Hawk 181, dude. I wouldn't be surprised RCG All right. doesn't. At the shit. end of the show, this book is going to get its just deserves. All right. Boom. All right. Compliments of RCG's Chad. Great. Wow, that's going to be good. Man. Um, all right. Thank you, Two Gun. Yes, 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 yes. Let's get to the next <laughs> round. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. <laughs> Let's get to the next round. What round are we in? Four? Four. We're going to round four. Oh, uh, crap. It was an AF-15, not a 181. <laughs> all right. Yeah, here we both. go. We're starting with Xenoscope number one again. How about Jasmine? King of Crowns number one, only a dollar. Right there. And next up, we've got Conspiracy Doppelganger from Xenoscope again. Okay. Interesting. How about some action comics number 1001? I know it's not the big issue, but it's the one right after it. Yeah, $1. Hey, scopes are expensive, dude. You look those up, you'd be surprised. <laughs> All right, next up. Ooh, ooh, in a Mylar and a fullback for some reason. How about a Superman Batman number two? Superman Batman and a Excellent reflective story. cover. The image in the pool of blood. Steven Spock, are you still there? <laughs> Next up, we've got Image Comics Birthright number 34 with the flaming okay. sword. Bam. That, I feel like I should have read that run. That looks kind of cool. Green Lantern Core Edge of Oblivion number one of six. There you go. Chad, heavy is the crown. That's right, man. Now that you are the man. Here we go. Fantastic for number 301. They're taking Ben. What? Help me. Uncle Ben. All right. The next one is going to be Green Lantern number 27, Confrontation. I don't read Green Lantern, so I couldn't tell you if that was key or not. I have no idea. Next up, we've got a number one issue, a variant cover of a number one issue, a Lee and Yuck variant cover of a number one issue, Next Gen. This shouldn't even be in here. That should have been in the $3. Bummer. 
Dollar, dollar right there, folks. Black cat number three of the current run for only a dollar. Right there. Next up is another number one Hawkeye. Number one. Going right up here. And the last book in the lot is Extreme X-Men number 24. Extreme X-Men number 24. Man, let's get this thing started. Hey, TiVo. Hey, TiVo. You see the shirt, baby? Oh, yeah. Been pumping that shirt all day. Going to be breaking at the end of round five. Got a little something special planned there, too. Okay, let's get the starting line going for round four. See if there's anybody interested in any of these books. I'd like to thank the 27 people who are watching me live here today on the Discovery Bay Comics pop-up shop show. This is the show where I'm offering buy it now opportunities. Let me go ahead and drop that brand. I haven't cursed, have I? Because I got that one too. We'll just keep that one up just in case I drop a bomb. <laughs> All right. Do we got any claims in the house for okay. this round? Round four. Let me get some round four stickers going here. Round four, $1 claims. Anybody yeah, interested? BLC with letter K. BLC. And, uh, Letter K. I've been trying to answer your question, Mastodon, but I think JB is going to have a bunch of my comments held for review. Oh no! Uh, do, I don't. I, do I not have an administrator? Because I don't. I can't see. The, I, uh, I have YouTube. an administrator. I don't okay. know what's up with it. But anyway, what happened to Biggie? Did we lose Biggie? I'm right we lost there. Biggie. Oh no! Put all right. There we go. I lost you there for a second. Okay. What else we got? Yeah. Uh, next is CFAP with letter I. C Fap one dollar claim. Let me guess which one I is. Oh, that's not what I thought. Okay, black cat. He went black cat on me. I thought for sure he was gonna go Fantastic Four. Uh, then I got Joey Bag of Sevens with letter J. Joey Bag of Sevens took letter J. Round four claims only one dollar. Joey Bag of Sevens says, Mid Go ahead, Comic Man with letter H. All right, hold on. I, I'm still getting Joey. Joey was A, Joey was J. J, thank you. Put it on A. Let me take that off of there. Joey was J. Okay, Joey got J. All right, who's next? Midwest H. Midwest took letter H. One dollar claim yep. round four for Midwest. Letter H. Oh! No Comic Head 84. I don't even know where that was. <laughs> All right, who's next? Uh, Jorge with F. Jorge again says, give me letter F. Round four claim, $1. Uh, letter F, next gen. Okay. Going back to seven, also wants B. Joey says, give me B. Round four, one dollar claim. Joey four seven seven one says B and C. Yep. Nice. Look. Almost comic headed that one again. <laughs> there you go. All right. Great round. Uh, Is that it? Got, uh, Jorge with letter A. Okay. Okay. No, no love for Superman. Uh, yes, Pope. I have Midwest and Jorge's claim, then your letter H. So. so, A? You said Jorge A? Yeah, Jorge yep. A. Yep. All right. Pope with G. Pope oh, okay. oh, says, shit. I'll take G for a dollar, JB. Throw it in my pile. 
we're two Season away, seven. three away. Gee, there you go. Yeah. All right. Hey. Oh, Kenny's here. He's here in me. <laughs> yeah, Ode to Comic Head 84. All right. Hey, so we're going to – is that it? No, the last claim I see is letter L, and Pope was wanting me to double check. Yeah, I have the first person to say letter H as Midwest, then Jorge, then your attempt, Pope. So they, they beat you out there, buddy. I'll double check. Hey, Matt, the boy who had seven is in the house. Thanks for stopping in, Matt. I really appreciate you for stopping in. Can't wait for tonight. I'll be breaking here after the fifth round to uh, go through tonight's live schedule, and you're definitely in there. Thank you very much. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm, I'm sorry. Am I closed on this round, guys? I'm sorry. Uh, yes. Yes. All right. So this was the end of round four. I got to be in the field. You get no tape. Okay. Closed round four. Thank you very much. That was a great round. Now, anybody watching on the rewind, you can just reference round four in the letter. If there's a book that you'd like to claim, I can still get that for you. Wow, it was a great round. All right, now we're going to go round five. Yeah. Yo, 84, Man, this is going to be a special show, everybody, because let me tell you what's happening. Not only am I going to break after round five for a quick what's on today with Discovery Bay, but after the show, we're going to spin for free shipping, and then Chad yeah. RCG has asked me to give... Some Rob Liefeld love. Give him the yeah, just deserves. Know. And he's going to get what he deserves. I don't know if we should go scissors or just straight Hulk tear, but it, it's not going to be pretty. Okay. Next up, we're going around $5 books. Let's see what we've got. We're even going to start there for CFAP with the there it's right on top. There we go. First book in the round. We're starting with that Fantastic Four issue 311, introducing the sensational Black Panther. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Right there for a dollar. Next up, we've got the New 52 Justice League number 11. Available right here. Round five. Next up, we've got Image Comics Birthright number 33. One dollar. Next, we've got DC Rebirth Action number 962. Mm. It's a cool cover. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Here we go again. We got a problem. One more time, everybody. Superman number eight. And look, he's got feet. So this is like a variant cover, right? Oh. Right. It is a variant yeah, cover. So You're going to need to get this one, too, since you got the last one. $1 right there. Next up, we've got Justice League. It says combo pack. I don't know what's up with that, but number two. Oh, you get a digital copy inside. There you go. Yeah, combo. Ooh. Next up, we've got Excalibur number 96. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. Here is the mullet version of that Superman Man of Steel number 61. There for a dollar. Next up is issue number one in a Mylar bag. Parallax number one. The Fall of Ooh. Kyle Rayner. Next up, we've got another number one issue. How about Electric Warriors? Number one of a six-issue miniseries. JB, that only came out a couple months ago. Yeah, and you can get it right here for a dollar. Next up, we've got Injustice number two. Mm. Boom. One dollar. And the final book in the fifth round. X-Men Fairy Tales number two of four. Let's get the starting lineup when I get the go-ahead because of that lag. Who's in the house? Javi's in the house. Conquistador says, what's up to Hialeah Comic, bro? I love saying that name. I mean, seriously, man. Don't you just love saying Hialeah Comic, bro? Come on. Scott Farr is in the house. How you go? Ooh, ooh, a little something going out for you. BLC, keep an eye out. Let's get the starting line in for round five. 
For the 29 people who are joining me live, thank you very much for joining us live right here on Discovery Bay Comics. I'm JB with guest host, the immortal Biggie Shack and Big Will, who has arrived. All right, we got BLC first up on deck, letter H. BLC says, give me that Fantastic Four for a dollar. Oh, wow, that is so close to Comic Head. Look at that. Ooh. Bam. <laughs> Any other claims? Up the down, letter J. Up the down says, I'll take letter J for a dollar. Round five <laughs> claims, one dollar. Up the down. Up the down, oh. letter J. Uh, then we got Joey Bag of Sevens with letter a and K. Joey Bag of Sevens, I'll take two in this round. Round five. A and K. Good plans, good plans. Joey, they are yours for a dollar. And the last claim I see is Chad RCG. <laughs> letter G. The life filled Superman, and he has oh, a Oh, God. That. So I think that means he wants you to hold that one with the Oh, other. my God. I'm just going to go ahead and put that aside. Chad, oh, my goodness. Good times, everybody. Let's go ahead and close out this round. Then we're going to go ahead and take a quick little break, see what's coming on live tonight in the comic yep. book community. Go ahead and close round five. We're going to go ahead and switch the camera here. To the main camera. Oh, let's get the branding off of my face. There we go. And let's see if the page is actually set up. <laughs> let's see if I'm actually set up for this. Okay, so yeah, don't need that open. Don't need to be seeing those. Don't need to see that. <laughs> don't need to be seeing that. Now, yeah, let's go ahead and put Chat this over here. Sometimes you just want to watch the world burn. Right, there we go. So look, I got my six, I got the six, I got the 645, I got the seven. I'm going to really quick, since I am going to do a basically a little update of what's going on, I'm just going to take a really quick look and see if there's anybody else who's posted any new um, coming up later on tonight. Look, there is one right here. Let me go ahead and add him to the playlist. Mm -mm. So what I'm doing is I maintain this playlist all day long. There are two major categories. There is comic book community live streams, and there is top picks. Um, everything in the top picks I have watched from front to back, or at least listened to it the whole way while I've been working on graphics and such. And the live stream is what everybody wants to see, right? We're here for the live stream. Don't, don't say we're not, because that's where all the fun is. I want to sit there and talk smack to Perry, right? Come on, don't we? It's all fun and games. Uh, and that's what basically this channel was developed on telling everybody what's on live tonight. So that's what I'm going to do here today. I'm going to do a little impromptu what's on today with discovery Bay. And I got to hide this and then we're going to share the screen. Are you guys ready? Let's see if this works. Man, it's terrible TV right now, right? Give it to him. Okay, application. <laughs> He's like, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Share. Okay, you guys are up in the corner. So, how you doing? I'm JB, and welcome to another edition of What's On Today with Discovery Bay, home of the YouTube comic book community channel guide. This is the show where I'm going to share a lineup of content creators that are either releasing, premiering, or going live. Now, I would normally break for the Instagram tag of the day, which I am going to do, because I'm going to do it live. Because today's tag is something that I have really wanted to respond to. So, let's get started by checking today's lineup and finding out... Come on, JB. You gotta be ready for this stuff, man. And finding out what's on today with Discovery Bay. So, uh, I'm gonna talk times in both. Uh, Pacific Standard Time and Eastern Standard Time. And we are gonna start with coming up at 5.30 p.m. Pacific, 8.30 p.m. Eastern over at the Zade Comics channel. They're going live with a stream titled... Here it goes. Seven Legions with Michael Beacon, a comics great interview. That sounds, looks pretty good. All right. 
Next up at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, over at the Lords of the Long Box channel, my man TiVo and crew are going live with a stream titled CW Crisis on Infinite Earth Recap, Supergirl, Batwoman, and Flash. So basically the first three parts of this streaming content. That's going to be great, right? All right, next up, also at 6 p.m. Pacific for my statue collectors out there, over at the Batman Statue Collector channel, Brian's going live with a stream titled Rogues Gallery Live, number 25. What's that? SGCC? I'm not sure what that means. Singapore? Singapore. That's where you go. Singapore Comic Con. Um, for my statue collectors out there. See, when you have a script, it sounds so choppy. All right. Next up at 6.45 p.m. Pacific, 9.45 p.m. Eastern, over at the Unpressable Defects podcast channel. They're going live with a stream titled Unpressable Defects number 183. Now, here's the big one at 7 p.m. Pacific. There's actually two shows. But since Comic Core doesn't have their thumbnail up, I can't tell you about Comic Core show. You know, the greatest show ever, which, by the way, had the best opening ever last week. But we will talk about a very special stream. Because if you're not watching the 12 Days of Christmas and what Matt and the girl and the boy who had seven are doing... In this community, it's special, and please join us tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern, as I, myself, and Terry23, who will finally make an appearance to the comic book community tonight. I am so thrilled that he's, this is going to be his first appearance. We are the guests on tonight's 12 Days of Christmas with Matt. And man, I'll have my tissue ready, because it's going to be good, man. I'm looking forward to that. So, also tonight, <laughs> after that, uh, at 9 p.m. Pacific, you know how we're going to close it out, folks. It's Disco After Dark, man. I'm having a good time with this. Last night was one of the funnest times I had. I had little clips that I popped in and out of there. I got to interview the owner of 36 Chambers Studio. We're going to call him H going forward. And uh, check out the replay on that one. I kept it to an hour, so it wasn't too long. But tonight, we're talking new comic books. We're talking Battle Pug. We're talking Reaver. We're talking Batman, White Knight, and X-Force. Because not only did I get those comic books from Chino Comics and more, I had to go and get them. I went and drove and got copies so I could be reading them and be ready for tonight because that's the way it is. Anyway, that's the lineup. But real quick, I was tagged multiple hey. times today. I was tagged multiple times today on Instagram for one of my favorite posts. It's called Webhead Wednesday. And I haven't taken a picture yet, and I haven't replied, but I am going to be taking a picture of something that I just recently acquired. I don't know if you guys saw it, but if you haven't, I'm going to show it to you because this is my going to be my reply for Webhead Wednesday. Yeah. My amazing Spider-Man number two in a 1.0 CGC compliments of my friend mr comics 89 thank you very much matt for adding this one to my long term personal collection because that one's going to be on the wall for quite so a to while thank you very much matt yeah. mr comics 89 so that was my little impromptu Dude. what's on today Dude. with discovery bay thank you for the 26 people who are watching me let's get back to what you want to see you want to see books let's get to the books go we're going to go back for round Discovery. six. Yes, sir. What you got, hey, Biggie? Hey, your your ASM collection's getting bonkers, dude. It is. I, I agree with you. It's it's going to be it's going to be good when it's all said and done. And I will tell you that oh, I, I when I unleash the Fantastic 4, there's going to be reprints. Definitely going to be reprints, but I'm going to go 1 to 100 and it's going to have some some true believers, some re, you know, some replica uh, facsimiles and it's going to have reprints because I've been buying a lot of those um, Bronze Age reprints of the Silver Age stuff. But anyway, let's get back to the books. Biggie Shack, you're going to have to uh, take over, my man. I got to bounce. We'll Ooh, see y'all later. Biggie, oh, can you I'll handle the touch, pressure? Dude. Can you handle it? I, I'll uh, verify for you, Discovery, dude. I'll, I'll try All right, do I'll it, do my best, folks. If there's anybody in the chat who's out there that says, hey, JB, I, I'm free. I could, cut, I could pop in for a little bit and help you guys out. I will shoot you the link because this is a lot harder. Oh, than I'm getting a phone call. I'll be right back. <laughs> no worries. Perfect timing, though, because oh. I'm going to show the books. So let me get my branding up. My banner. What happened there? Are we 
we still here? We're going to go to this camera. We're going to hit the brand. We're going to drop the overlay. I want to thank the 27 people who are still joining us live for the comic book pop-up shop show. This is the show where I'm giving you buy it now opportunities in what I like to call the keep it thorough starting line style for the live viewers. Everybody who's joining us live will get a chance at free shipping today. First up in this round, round six, we've got Extreme X-Men number 22. Mm. Next up, we've got a number one, an Image Comics number one, Blood Brothers Prelude, Blood Strike. That's going to go right over there in the H spot. Ooh, how is this book still here and only a dollar? How about Spider-Man 2099 number three, concluding the origin of Spider-Man 2099? Next up, we've got Secret Avengers number 18. Is she cutting this dude's head in half with a karate strike? Come on now, people. That's crazy. Agree. Yes, sir. Oh, sweet. Let me get that out. Yeah. Boom. Mm, you know, yeah, that'll be good. Do I have you on here? Please tell me I have you on here. I don't have his email in my, um, let me check with something real quick. This is terrible TV, me looking up somebody's name. <laughs> let me finish this round and then I'll come back. Right? That's what I should do. Let me finish the round. Sure. All right. So next up, we've got Young Justice number two. Young Justice number two variant cover. Man, I thought I had all the variants in the threes. I must have. Oh, well, whatever. Dollar. Xenoscope number one. The Musketeers. Midwest, are you still here? Xenoscope number one. The Musketeer. Pretty lady on the cover. Right there. Dollar. Ooh, this is a thick one. This is a Green Lantern core. It's a square, 64 page, beautiful square bound binding. Look at that. It's perfect. I don't think this thing's ever been read. Uh, Green Lantern Cord number 364. I don't know. What do you go? There you go. I don't know if it's an annual or something. It's a buck. It's a dollar. Spider Man Human Torch number four or five. Where's Mr. Comics 89? I know he's got the other ones of these. You sh I should have pulled those for you. Oh, man. Bummer. Next up, we've got Doctor Strange number 76. That's the a very interesting looking Doctor Strange. All right. How about America versus the Justice Society number four with, man, like two spine kicks, maybe? Very nice. Next up, we've got, what have we got? What have we got here? The Invaders number seven. It's going right up there. And hey, CFAP, if you're still out there, how about a Fantastic Four? Number 334. All right. I've got 24 people in the live chat. The starting line's coming. Boom. Round, no, round six. Round six? Yeah, this is round six, right? I broke after round five. Yep, round six. And go. And now let me look up. I think I have his email in here because he bought something from me. So. There it goes. I hope this will I hope this email works. Chad, can I use the email from uh um, your PayPal? All right. Let's see if this works. Cancel. All right, we got to get Big Will back. What happened? <laughs> Nope, it didn't like that address. Did I type it in wrong? Damn it. Losing me.
Oh, I did spell it wrong. <laughs> What do you think? Get any claims on that round or not really? Okay. 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 I'm going to, I can't even, I'm going to have to go to the uh, YouTube to see the claims because they're, they're not, I don't see anything at all on StreamYard, dude. Did nobody buy anything in this round? That's all right. If nothing goes in this round. Oh, I got it. I just sent it. Just sent it. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Okay. This is what I see. Tell me if you confirm. I've got George Tello getting letter L. And then I also have him getting K before comics for all people. And letter I. What do you think? Is that what you see? So we got $1 claims, round six. George, I see with L. Yep, because he was that was his first claim was L. I can't even see. I gotta take, I gotta change the picture. What am I doing? I gotta be this one. All right, we do have chat. Thanks for popping in, chat. I'll watch the claim list for you if you want. All right, yeah, I'm I'm struggling right now. I got George Tello. I think has K L and I. Right. So K. Here we go, man. Win win. Everyone's happy. Comic intellect has F. Okay, so K L and I for George. Thank you very much. Now we're back. Now we're, what was the next one? Comic intellect. Uh, has P. Yeah, F. I'm sorry. It kind of P has F. Comic intellect. P says I'll take letter F in round six. Now we're moving. Oregon Ween C. Comic intellect says letter F. Spider Man Human Torch. It's yours. All right. Next up is Oregon or Ween. Or Oregon Ween. One dollar claim. Oregon Wee I'm. And you're on the wheel, Oregon Wee I am. I'm totally butchering that, I bet, aren't we? <laughs> Man, I'm totally butchering that. Let her see he, it is. If you want us to pronounce it right, you should have spelled it phonetically. Uh, that's true, right? <laughs> okay. George already got that. Comics for all people uh, was second on letter L. I got what do you got? Two gun? Do you see two gun? Who's next? Yeah, he's already that's already claimed. That's claimed. Yep, you're right. Yeah. So Joe. You have Joey Bag of Sevens, G and J. Joey Bag of Sevens, G. Jay's gone already. So he can get G. Biggie's back. He's my back. You back, Biggie? We're back here. We'll go over here. Okay. So uh, yeah, I next guess is. I guess you couldn't hear me. My fault. I couldn't hear you. No. I don't Jay. see anybody with J besides him. All right. So Joey gets J. One dollar claim round six. Give me J. That's. A, I think that's a great buy, dude. I mean, this thing doesn't look like it's even been cracked. And that's he wants crazy. G also. That's crazy. I think I actually pulled from the wrong stack. All right, one dollar claim, round six. Joey again says, "Also give me G." Yeah. All right. Does that look like we got them all? E for C. Hold on. Com comics for all people got letter E. Yeah. No, it looks like I'm seeing CFAP ahead. Look up high, higher a little bit. It's way That's up the same there. Guy. Right. Oh, it is Mr. Wait. So Mr. Comics don't get no, it. No, comics. Yeah, yeah Mr. Com yeah, CFAP's got E. Sorry, man. Sorry for you got it early. He jumped that fantastic four for a dollar. Round six claim for a dollar. CFAP won. It is yours, my friend. Now, as I mentioned before, if you are catching this on the rewind, you can still claim a book by referencing round six and the letter. And I can either add to your 
uh, pile or create a new pile for you. All right, let's go ahead and close out round six. We are back in the groove. Round six. We've got help. We got Chad, the man, the myth, the legend. RCG in the house. You are the luckiest man on the planet. What is going on? I feel lucky. Man, I hope you're at the car. You're, you're playing cards today, right? Man, you got to be. Yeah, we got the, I wish I could get my camera turned around and get the poker room going. Oh, man. Sorry. All right. This is the final dollar round before we move to some threes. We're going to go ahead and go back to JB's camera here. We're going to get the branding back up. This is round number seven, the final round. Did I close that round officially? No, I didn't. Closed round six. This is the final dollar round. Then we're going to move on over to some $3 books. And let's get this one started right now with Plastic Man number 11. Plastic Man number 11, Homeland Security, $1. The New Green Lantern number 52, The New Green Lantern 52, $1. Justice League number 38, $1. And next up, we've got Outcast, issue number 7 from Skybound Studios. Hell yeah. Damage to kill a Superman, number 11. Dude, he's just crushing his head into the ground. Look great at that. cover, dude. Man, come on. There's another Young Justice, number one. If you didn't get it, it's here for a dollar. Uh -huh. There's a fantastic four, CPAP. Number 306 this time. There for a dollar. How about Ghost Rider Spirits of Vengeance number nine? That one's available. Next is Squadron Supreme number two. What is he doing? He's got his look at Thor has got Namor in the freaking headlock. He's like, talk it shit to me now. Talk it to me now. <laughs> Next up, we've got Robin, number four of five. All right, Ground Earth, number one. It just says number one, not a, a version of Aquaman. This is just Ground Earth, number one. Could it have been any more confusing the way they did that series? And the final book in the round. This is a great book for a buck, man. You got to be kidding me. This is I picked the wrong row. Uh, X Force number one, Stan Lee banner. X Force number one with the Stan Lee tribute banner. One dollar. Here we go, folks. Let's get the starting line going for round seven. Round seven in the house. Starting line is open for the 23 people who are joining me live right now on Discovery Bay Comics pop up shop show this is the show where i offer buy it now opportunities to the live chat anybody claiming a book in today's live show gets a chance at free shipping anybody watching on the rewind can still claim a book simply reference the round and the letter of the book remaining either in the comments below or hit me up on instagram first one i see is scott Parr with k you got it. Round seven is officially underway with a claim. A $1 claim from Scott Farr. Mr. Comics. Give me, I'm sorry. What, what letter was he getting? I'm too far over. K. Scott Farr was K. K. There you go. I see it. Are you still K now that I actually got him in the right spot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, right? I want, I'm waiting for Scott Farr's confirmation that it was still K now that I've got him in the right spot. Yeah, still K. Still K. You got yeah, it. I think so. All right. Who's next? Mr. Comics 89, J. Mr. Comics 89 says, give me J in round seven for $1. <laughs> Yeah, 
What do you see next, fellas? Up the down seven F. Up the okay. down one dollar claim round seven. It says give me F. Yours. Yeah, then uh, George got E and J. George, George, George Tello. Oh, J was gone. Oh, J's gone. Yep. So that oh, means. George, did he get E before Two Gun Pedro? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. George gets E. Okay. Are we all confirm that? Round seven claim? Yeah, One dollar? George also has G. George has E and G. Damn, that's a good call. Yeah, that is a great not, call. Yeah. Like, e. there's, huh? George does that? not have E. Oh. Two Gun Pedro has E. I thought he, George, I see it uh, earlier. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I'm George waiting. has E and G. G. Yep. These two. Right. I'm sorry. Which is right. a great bad, claim, man. I mean, we're talking bad, about a $5 yeah, book right. and probably a $4, that's $9 worth for $2. Great claim, George. I've they were a dollar bin, right, Chad? Yeah, these yeah. are all dollars. What's next? <laughs> Uh, Joey bag of sevens D. Joey got that D round seven. <laughs> it sounded way worse than it was. I bet it did, man. <laughs> that Joey is D. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, what's next? Joey Man, also got the H. <laughs> where's Dollar Ben Fodder in this? That's what I thought, but I don't, I don't know, even dude. see the first. Where, what was their first one? They said F, but who was who got yeah, F? But no, but down. up the down, up the down's got F before you. Yeah, I see up, oh, okay. up the down got F before you. They got uh, me yesterday. Dollar right Sorry, Sorry. put yours up first. Good shit, Chad. Chad. Chad's all over yeah. it, dude. Good shit, man. All right, so what do we got? The last one is Joey Bag of Sevens H. <laughs> Joey bag of seven. Hey, everybody, do me a favor. Anyone that if, if you think that you got a letter that someone else got got first, can you just refresh your screen and go back into the chat and see if you still got that letter first in after you've refreshed? Because I don't want anyone to be get you know, you know what I'm saying? All right. So what's the last letter we got? H for Joey bag of sevens. Joey gets letter H. Round seven claim one dollar. The last one dollar claim of the night. No, we don't. It's over, dude. We'll close out round seven. Close round seven. Let's get back over here. So, what? What? Tell me, you got more? You? I know you do. What? What? What's your next mystery box coming in, Chad? I got ten from Comic Vantage coming in. I think tomorrow. Oh my! Lord. Are you doing something with Squatchy and Foo? Um. Yeah, but we're trying to wait till we can all get together. It might be after Christmas. Oh man! So Ooh. we got a, we got a whole bunch of gift exchanges. Mm -hmm. I uh, my man Squatchy oh, cool. up because he he's the one who told me to do Torpedo. Yeah, oh man. So uh, I got I already told him, so it's not a secret. But I sent him a Lucille number one hundred and the Negan. Where is Negan? Uh, Nine point eight. Oh, dude, that's such a good book, bro. Yeah. So that's I've already given it, it's because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even got the book the box. So right. Take care of him. <laughs> finder's feet. The finder's feet. I love the sound of that. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull Always out to take care of your day one. Absolutely. <laughs> That's interesting. Then I put that in there. Now these are all the ones we sorted yesterday. So I mean, I just want to try and get twelve. Extinction. Okay. Let's see if I got twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, and what will we make the last one? I bet you this has some meaning, so I'm going to put that in there. 
All right, let's get started. This is a $3 round. The last three rounds of the day are, are going to be $3 rounds. I want to try and keep this to 90 minutes if at all possible. Here's a $3 round. JB's taking the screen. I yep. still got 20 people joining us. Let's get started with the first book in the $3 round. We're talking about a Millar and Murphy Cronauts, number one from Image Comics. And you know what they said about all the Millar stuff? We might be seeing them. There you go. $3. Ultimate Extinction, number one of six. Right there, we've got Night Moves number one. Telling me that's a good oh, series. Yeah. It's an IDW one. House of M number one. Hey, we yep. sorted these. We're going to try it. Next up, Edge of Venom verse number three variant. Edge of Venom verse number three variant cover. Next up, we've got. Bullseye number one cover D variant by Scotty Young Baby variant. Three dollars. Here's some more Scotty Young goodness on another number one. How about the Inhumans number one variant cover? With some more Scotty Young. Three dollars. Next up, how about that Lee In Hyuk Amazing Nightcrawler variant cover? That one shot number one. Next up, we've got Hulk Vereens, number one. Great book. And next up, we've got The Invisible Woman, number one. That Adam Hughes goodness. All right, where is the BLC when you need him? Aquaman, number four to three, variant cover. And the final book in the round, we've got a variant cover of Batman and the Outsiders number two. Batman and the Outsiders number two, variant cover. So let's get the starting line going for the 22 people who are joining us live. Now, if you're watching this on the Rewind, you can still claim any of these books. What? What? What happened? Scott Farr bought the damn round. Oh, what a guy. Holy sh... Well, hold on. Holy... <laughs> Scott Farr has bought the round. So this is not unprecedented. As Chad had done this yesterday, thank you very much. What this means to the folks who are watching here, for the 23 people who are watching here, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to drop a starting line in here, and you are going to get to claim away compliments. <laughs> Of Scott Farr. Now, all I ask is not Scott Farr, at least check out his channel. Man, he just bought you a comic book. All right, let's get around. Uh, what is this? Okay, round eight. We're going to get the starting line in for round eight. Round eight is paid for. It is a paid for round, paid for by Scott Farr. Merry Christmas, everybody, from Scott Farr. There's the starting line. Claim away. I comment, but I'm on here. So. <laughs> I like to see the chat get it anyway. Chat rules. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. What do we see first, folks? What do we see first? Damn it, Biggie shaved me. I put a letter up there. <laughs> what? Ah, what did you what did you get? Biggie, you shaved me. <laughs> I, I, I can't oh. do it. <laughs> I can't Joey do it. Joey Bag of 7's and letter C. Okay, yeah, so correct. Joey Bag of 7's is the first plane at letter. I Okay, I see. No, go ahead. Hey, RCG, I would have. I just no, no, didn't no, have no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I see Pope Cerebus at letter E first. Yes. I see Joey Bag of 7's and C. Yeah, yeah I, just stream, yeah. I just refreshed YouTube because I wanted to get this right. I yes. just refreshed my YouTube, and the first claim I see is Pope Cerebus the first letter okay. E. So Pope C is going first in round eight, free of charge. Compliments of Scott Farr. Merry Christmas, Pope C, and you get letter E. There you uh, go. I, I don't even have a pile, Chad. So I show you 36 do. chambers next. See. I also see 36 chambers 2D studio. What's up, H? 
Thanks for joining me last night on Disco After Dark. You have got yourself a free book. Compliments of Scott Farr. Merry Christmas. 36 Chambers is getting letter C. All right. So he was the first to see because I see Joey had it. Up the Down had it. Comics for All People have it. The next one I see is George Tello at Jorge Tello. Jorge Tello. <laughs> Jorge Tello at Roll those R's. Rolling them R's. But is that what you guys see? Jorge Tello at R's? Okay. Let me, get this. Let me get the banner off of there. Oh, it's a comment. I got to get the comment off of there. Because I can't see what the letter is. <laughs> All right. So, next one is Jorge with a free book, compliments of Scott Farr. FOC round eight. Yeah, we got two good. Yeah, two going with B. Two good with B after Jorge's L, right? Jorge gets L, then two gun with B. Right with you. Two gun get letter B. Free of charge. Compliments of our friend Scott Farr, great community member. He says, Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm buying round eight. This is a two gun. Two gun. Getting B. Hulk Marines. All right. Who's next? What do you guys see next? Up to down G. Yep. Up to down G. Round eight. Up to down. Up the down got G. Yeah, okay, right. Right. What else can we see? Oregon we I'm with Oregon we I'm J. Round eight. Free of charge. Scott Farr. Oregon. Got J. All right. What do we see next? We going back to Joey at K. It's one forty-five today. What do you guys think? I'm seeing um, after Oregon, I got Joey at K. Before, yes, yep. Yeah, okay. So round eight, free of charge. Compliments of Scott Farr. Joey bag of sevens says I'll take K. House of M, number one. All right. What's up? What's next? I see Jorge Tello again with F. Uh, the next one that would be applicable, I do believe, is Jorge Tello at F. Round eight. F-O-C. Jorge. It's F. Yours, my friend. Next up. Uh, looks like nice cover, bro. Got letter D. I'm going with nice cover, bro. Yep. Which is great because he already, that's awesome, man. <laughs> this is like his second free book. I love it. Nice cover, bro. Free of charge. He's like, I love this show, man. I just pop in. People are giving away books. I just claim on. <laughs> All right. What else have we got? Maverick Com with A. Maverick Com, how are you? Welcome to the show. If you don't know what's going on, you just got yourself a free book. Compliments of Scott Farr. Go ahead and check out his channel. Round eight. Free of charge. <laughs> For Maverick Com. Maverick, go ahead and hit me up on Instagram at Discovery Bay Comics. And uh, let's go ahead and start chatting so I can start a pile for you. Maverick Calm. Says, go ahead and give me A. They're all paid for. What's left? Comic Intellect I. Comic Intellect says, give me I. Round eight. Free of charge. Comic Intellect. It says give me I 
And Joey Bag of Seven says, go ahead and toss that last book in my pile, right? Never mind. Oh, this was day we didn't they didn't know him until Jorge did it himself. But yeah, that's still the right one. He just didn't put the day in. How like it looked. Jigs, did I miss something? I don't know. Did Did Joey take the last book? Yes, sir. Yeah. Where, Sorry, did, did someone else get it before up. him? No, Joey got it. Joey got it. Joey got, Joey got the last book. <laughs> Joey got the last book in round eight. Compliments of Scott Farr, free of charge. Right there. Wow, that Fantastic. was amazing. I can't believe that happened. That was tremendous. Everybody who just got a free book, please take a moment to go check out his channel at least. You know, you don't got to sub, but just go check it out. So let me go ahead and set up the board on the next one. Yeah, what Tremendous. You Tremendous. You got a free book. Subscribe to, subscribe to my board. Right? This is crazy. This keeps happening. Right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see what we've got here. We're going to the next round. Pop me up big. Get the branding in here. Another $3 round. I want to thank everybody who's joining us right now. No sub and just have fun and enjoy the community. You're the man, dude. You're the man. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, don't right? un actually unsubscribe to him. <laughs> <laughs> that is just awesome. All right. Um, <laughs> Let's see what we got here. I'm going to just go in order. We might pluck through these a little bit. Ooh, there's a banger. I want one of those. All right, how about this one? Some uh, grumble number one. Grumble number one. Not the one with the word bubble, just the regular one. Three bucks. Yeah. Um, I feel like that should be in the dollar bin. How about here's a variant, variant cover of Green Lantern number three. Variant cover of Green Lantern number three. How about the this is the variant right of the Sharky, Sharky bounty hunter. Now supposedly not a number one. I'll get option, don't they? Yep. How about the new fifty two Green Lantern number one? Sharky's a number one. Yep. Bam. He says, subs don't matter. Relationships matter. That's the shit, bro. I love you. Green Lantern number eight. Variant. Bam. How about this one? Mr. Miracle number one. Dollar, dollar, dollar. Make you holla. Right there. Disco, when you get a chance, I got one of your biggest fans that want to say hi to you, Disco. All right, all right. Um, you know what? I'll take a break for that, man. Can, can we break halfway through this round? Who do you got? I want to see who you got here. Let me get this branding off of you. Who is this? <laughs> cool. How are you doing? Hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> She's Thanks a big cat. Yes. Nice. You're going to be dressed as a cat woman at the uh, C2E2. Nice. Woman with me. Oh, man, you're going to have to. I'm going to have to go to C2E2 now. I wasn't planning on it, but we're going to we're gonna have to make an extra trip this year. Man, thank you for stopping in and popping in. I appreciate you. <laughs> All right, let's finish off this round. I want to grab some good books here. What's here's another I'm number ones. What about some number ones? What would I buy? Here's one as Guardians of the Galaxy, number one. There you go. Okay. Drop one in there. Uh oh, these are hot right now, right? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universe number 11. Oh, yeah. There you go. Uh here, ooh, the Punisher, the Evolutionary War number one. A nice oh, yeah. copy of that. Box. Bam, baby. How you like me now? All right, next up, we've got Rise of the Night Stalkers number one, and it's still in its special collector's bag. Whatever the heck that means. We'll throw that over here. Let me go grab two more bags out of here. Oh, yeah. Hey, this is the current run, right? Fantastic four number two. Where where is the uh, where's the great legend at? Suicide Squad Black Files. Don't spend five, spend three. Right there. 
Let's get the starting line going. We're in round nine. We've only got one round left after this, folks. We're in round nine. We're going to try and wrap this up. I'm always running late. Running late. Get the starting line in there for round nine for the 23 people who have been hanging with me. Thank you so much. Hanging with me. We're starting round nine. See if we got any claims from the live chat. If not, remember, if you're watching this on the rewind, you can always claim a book by referencing the round number in the letter, either in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram. Irish pub style. Scott buying a round of whiskey, right? That's right. He just bought a round of whiskey for everybody. Man, Scott Farr, you are the shit. Agreed. This show's the shit. You're the shit. This show's fun. <laughs> Yeah. Have a good time with it, job, man. Brother. Have a good time with it. All right, what do we got? What do you guys see first? What do you see first? Uh, hold on. Started. Oh, I'm, gonna, okay. I'm seeing Dollar Round Bin Fodder. Yes. Hey, he's quick Dollar to the bin. Draw. Got letter J first. Dollar Bin Fodder, letter J. Right. All right. Round nine claim. Three dollar book for Dollar Bin Fodder. Yep. Thanks for stopping by it. today, Dollar Bin. We're gonna get you a pile started. You start with letter J. Next yep. on my board, Oregon. I am seeing Oregon We I'm G. Yeah, I am seeing Oregon We I'm, but I'm also seeing Dollar Bin came in at F. Also, are you seeing that also? Yes, sir. So I'm gonna grab those together. And so dollar been at G also. No, because Uruguay Org 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 oh, is G. Yeah. I'm the worst assistant ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Org Oregon. I'm just gonna go with Oregon. Gets a three dollar claim. Yeah. Round nine for Oregon. And he says, I'll take letter G number one for a dollar. Three dollar, three dollar claim. It's a Jaguar. All right, next up. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, Jaguar, it's gone. Jay's gone already, though. Oh, and I wanted to You're say right. his name because I love that name. You know I do it. I'll have to say it anyway. Jaguar Chikata. I love it. All right, who do we got next? I'm seeing uh, Joey Bag of Seven with letter C. That is a great claim in round nine for $3. Joey Bag of Seven. They missed the miracle off the board. All right. What do we see next? Jorge Tello. Jorge. Oh, now I'm going to start rolling the R's, man. Maybe if I start <laughs> drinking, I'll start really start rolling the R's. Jorge Tello. $3 claim. In round nine, says, give me letter I, which is the turtles, the turtles, the turtles. Six. All right, who's next? C Fap went C, but it was gone. Ma Joy. Maverick went C, but it was gone. Comic Intellects went C, but it was gone. Okay. Then Joey I got D again. Joey took D. <laughs> Round nine, three dollar claim for Joey. Give me letter D. Like that D. There you go. <laughs> Just give Joe, I get it. Card. Joey went D again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's next? Uh, looks like H. Oregon took H. Oregon's taking H. Huh? How much do you have me pull Round nine, Oregon taking H. Right there. Okay, after that, I'm seeing Joey had I, but it was gone. Then it looks like Dollar Ben went J, but it was gone. Dollar bin went J, but it was gone. Dollar bin went F, but it was gone. Dollar bin went C, but it was gone. Dollar bin went E, but it was gone. Woo! Next one up, I see you. Joey got K. Okay, yeah. I'm I don't see Joey K. Joey got K. Dollar right. bin Potter has E also. Dollar bin does have E? Okay. He, he's gone. Oh, I e? thought, okay. No, E's e there. Angle. E's there. E's there. Round nine, E, dollar oh. bin. That's there. Right. E's right there, but I think I still got to get Joey K. Okay. And then that should close the round. And we'll get one more round up. Joey took K right there. 
And we're going to go ahead and close out that round. Ten second lag, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny, man. Close round nine. All right, let me come back up to here, get you guys back in the camera. Thank you, everybody that's joining me as I clear the board around nine. We still have 22 people who are sticking around. You know why you're sticking around? Because not only are we going to spin the wheel for free shipping, but Chad bought a couple of books that he wants us to play with. <laughs> oh, hey, Chad, someone's behind you, bro. <laughs> security guard. Here, pull up the gun. He'll shoot the books for you if you want. <laughs> I always keep at least one guard on me at all times. Hey, I want to see a Hulkamania. I want to see the Hulkamania rip, Discovery. <laughs> like it's a shirt. Oh, yeah. That's what I'll do. I'll put it on my chest and then rip it. Okay, here we go. We are going to start the last round. Round 10, $3 books, my friend. Thank you, everybody that has been sticking around. We got 26 people here. They said, what a minute. He's going to do what to a book? Yes. Yeah. There's going to be some Rob Liefeld mutilation to a couple of books here. But let's get started with the last round. We're going to go variant style with Superman number two. Superman number two variant cover. $3 right there. Next up, remember this one. This was a hot book back in the day, folks. Young Justice number one. Remember, everyone was chasing that one. You can have it right here for only three dollars. Right there. This is the final round, folks. Next up, we've got Haunted High Ons number one from Source Point Press. Right there. Next up, we've got Trinity number one. Trinity. Number one. Ooh, there's some reflection stuff going on in there, Steven Spock. Look at the look at that little reflections. I can't see it. I can't not see them now. Here's another great reflection one. Wow. Co variant cover of Teen Titans number 28. Deathstroke with the shattered glass. Man, that's did you did you see nice. Scott Park put up? He's taking care of this round too. No. Are you kidding me? Yep. Did he really? He goes, last round of three hour books on me one more time, he says. Where is God, it? Where does no. it say that? Oh my God. Last round. Woo! This is incredible, folks. He did it again. Let's count off the first couple here. Good All right. Next up, we've got Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number one variant edition. Three dollars. <laughs> well, actually, it's paid for. It's gonna be free to you. Because this is a Christmas gift from Scott Farr. And the round continues. New Mutants number one. Yeah, we... Variant cover. That's going to be available. How about Wonder Twins number one variant cover? That is available. It's paid for by YouTuber Scott Farr. Superman number three variant cover. Someone's going to swoop that up. Boom. What else? I'm just going to grab the last three off the top at this point. Uh, three. Three. Okay. The Herc, number one, the first Savage issue. I don't know why that's in that pile, but it is. Hellcat, number 15. Somebody said there was something about that. Don't know what that means. And the last one is the Black Badge from Boom Studios, the Staff Pick. I guess I bought something from Boom Studios. So as before, this round is paid for by Scott Farr. Yes, you heard me right. If you are just now joining and you don't know what's going on, I'm going to drop a starting line for the 24 people who are joining us. If there's a book on the board you're interested in, you can claim it because it's paid for. Scott Farr is paid for this round. Crazy. All you got to do is tell us what letter you want. I'm going to go ahead and put it in your pile. You're still responsible for the shipping. But hey, the book was free. All right. Let's get this thing started. The final round with the starting line. Thank you for joining Discovery Bay Comics. I'm JB. I've got guest host Chad, RCG, the luckiest man on the planet, and the immortal Biggie Shack joining me live today. All right. What do we got, folks? Oh, they're flying in, dude. They are flying in. Woo! All right. I'm seeing... 
Jorge Tello is the first claim taken letter C. Round 10, free of charge. Jorge, letter C. Excellent stuff. Bam. All right. All right. Next up, I'm seeing Maverick come jumping in. Letter D. Maverick, how you doing? Go ahead and shoot me a message on Instagram at Discovery Bay Comics, and we can get a pile started for you, Maverick. You've got free of charge. You're only paying for shipping right now, man. Round 10. Oh, and who knows? You might win free shipping, actually. And that was letter D next to me. Nope, letter D on the other side. There you go. All right. Ooh. Who's next? Now I'm seeing Oregon took letter H right before two gun. Is that what you guys are seeing? Yes, sir. I see Midwest after Oregon, but I'm not on YouTube. I let Chad tell it. Oh, you're you're not on. Oh, you're not watching. Let me. I'm gonna refresh it just real quick. I want to make sure I get it straight. I'm refreshing it, refreshing it, refreshing it, jumping back up to the top. Six chambers with Jake. I'm seeing uh, Oregon at H. Yep. And then yep. 36 chambers of J. Correct. Oregon yes, at H, 36 chambers of J. Let me get the, the comment down. Man! <laughs> Notifications. Thanks, Edwin. Man. By the way, Edwin Edwin's going to be doing the Heroes Initiative auction this weekend. Keep an eye. You know what? Chad is doing a fundraiser Friday, right? Yeah. Chad, this Friday? Man, we're going to get to all that stuff. Let me finish yeah. this round off, and, and then we're going to get to all the good shout outs. What do we have next? You got uh, you say Oregon, Oregon at H. H. Oregon yep. at H. Oregon took H, a free book in round 10. Compliments of Scott Parr. And they're like, man, are you kidding me? I was chasing that book, JB. All right. What else have we got? We had 36 Chambers Mike, esteemed guest from last night, Mr. H in the house. He's got another free book. Compliments of Scott Farr. 36 Chambers says, give me J. There you go. The I next book. Midwest at G. Midwest. Your box is getting full, my friend. Free of charge. Round 10. Midwest. <laughs> says, give me G. Great claim. Great claim. Next up. Pope at A. Pope. Cerebus the first says, give me a letter A. Thank you very much, Scott. I appreciate you. Hope C. Free of charge. Letter A. All right. Next up, what do you see? Steven Spock at K. Steven Spock says, give me letter K. There's some reflective shininess in there. Round 10, Steven Spock. All right. What else have we got, folks? Um, I'm still trying to find the next one. I'll be Maverick Com has B. Maverick Com has so those are all gone, all gone, all gone, all gone, all gone, all gone. G G G. Yeah, Maverick. No, that's at C. Maverick. No, I. Yeah, Maverick Com B. You're right. Yeah. Round 10, free of charge. Maverick comes like, dude, I don't know what happened. I just stopped in this stream and people were like giving away books and I just started claiming books. <laughs> there you go. Free of charge, man. Like, this freaking community is amazing. <laughs> All right, what else have we got? CFAP at E. CFAP says, give me JB, throw it in my pile. Free of charge. CFAP, it's yours, my friend. Merry Christmas. Happy yeah, Hanukkah. Merry Christmas, everybody, from Scott Farr. Oregon All right, what do we got? Oregon at F. Oregon says, give me F. Oregon, round 10, free of charge claim. Scott Farr says, give me F. All right. We got a couple left. Maverick at L. Maverick got L? Yes, got sir. it. And who got I? Jorge Tello. Jorge got I. 
free of charge Maverick and free of charge Jorge. Wow, what a show! That is an epic show. The final two rounds paid for by Scott Farr. All right, so Maverick. All right, which one got who? Who was I and who was L? Uh, I was Jorge. L was Maverick. Jorge, I. Yeah, yep. Yep. And Maverick is L. Man. All right, folks. That takes care of that. We've got to get the wheel out. While I set up the wheel, I'm going to let you guys tell me about what is coming up on your channels because I know that there is some stuff going on, right? So let's get this branding off of here. Let's, uh, Biggie's back in the shack. Let's go, and I'm going to set up the spin the wheel. And Chad, you tell me what you got going on this weekend. Well, uh, Friday night, um, I'm gonna, of course, I'm going to be in uh, Strictly Comics auction, this charity auction this Sunday. I want to mention the hits first. I'm going to be in there uh, selling some books. Everything's going 99 cents. Everything goes to the Hero Initiative. I know they raised over 10000 last year, so I'm going to be part of that, help them do that. That's going to be for the next three weeks on Sundays. Um, but myself, I'm doing my own auction on Friday. It's my first ever auction on YouTube. What time? Um, 7.30 Central on Friday night. Um, we do a Secret Santa program. And we live in a small community outside the Chicago area of Rockville. Right? And uh, we adopt uh, over, two, over 180 kids every year for Christmas. Our goal this year is 200 kids. We're going to bring Christmas to their families. What um, is it? What is each child cost? Well, it usually costs us between uh, 50 to 75 a kid. Okay. So every time you raise 50 to 75 bucks in your auction, that's an extra kid. Yes, it is. Because that's the way I would be pitching that. Yeah. And on Friday, so like every 50 bucks is another kid who's going to get Christmas from the RCG yeah. family. Yes, that's correct. And that's what we're awesome. going to do is um, um, my goal is to raise $1,000 to take care of the next extra 20 kids we're trying to raise this year. So um, wow. I'm going to shoot for that Friday. And my get plan is I'm going to sell whatever I have to. And I will not be off the stream until a thousand dollars is raised. Ooh, right. very cool. That start up five bucks, whether it's a three hundred dollar book or a fifty dollar book or a two dollar—I mean, or a five dollar book. So, so I'm challenging myself for the marathon, and I had a few people jumping on to join me. I got Thurl coming on if you can make it. I know Strictly Comics didn't jump on, and there'll be a few other guys jumping on. I don't know their names for sure yet because. A couple of people are kind of tentative still, so as soon as I get more details, I'll release it. I'll probably have it up there tonight on Instagram. That sounds fabulous. Uh, I'm just yeah. making sure I got everybody. Do I got 36? No, I got 30. Yeah, I got 36 already on there. Jorge's on there, right? Jorge. Uh, let me get Biggie back in. Biggie, tell me what you got going on this weekend, bro. Well, first off, I'd like to thank Big Discovery for inviting me, man. This community, dude, some of the greatest people on the planet, brother. Scott Farr, you're the man. Uh, Chad RCG, one of my favorite newer providers of YouTube uh, content, dude. He's, he's the best, man. He's so generous and such a nice dude, brother. If I gave away a slab every week, dude, five, ten thousand 10,000 subscribers. This guy don't even care. He's a humble dude. Uh, I might even bust a cherry buying something from in an auction from him. Nice. Like uh, Power Hour Friday. Uh, Melody of Mania says, what's up? That's all I got. That's all you got? All right. Let me, let me go over this board real quick. I think I got everybody. I'm going to go ahead and read them out real quick and then tell me if I'm missing anybody. If you're in the chat and I missed you, go. I'm going to give you about 30 seconds to tell me I missed you. So on my board, we're starting with Steven Spock, Dollar Ben, Two Gun Pedro, Mr. Comics 89, Big O, Joey Bag of Sevens, Jorge Tellos, Pope C, Comics for All, 36 Chambers. Did I say Oregon twice? No, Oregonian, Maverick, Scott Farr, and then Steven Spock is where I started, right? Did I miss anybody? Yeah, you started. I think that is every... Oh, Comic Intellect. Mm, mm. Okay. I did not get Comic Intellect. Comic yeah, I didn't intellect. hear any double check. Intellect. But I, what I'm doing is 
since there's so many people, it's two per square. So it's whichever you're closest to. And then Maverick okay. Com is in there. Nice cover, bro. Nice cover, pro. Has already got free shipping, so you don't need to be on there. Jorge, Joey. Okay, here we go. This is All it, right. folks. First, Didn't we're going to do some free good. shipping, and then we are going to mutilate some life felt. That's right. You heard me right. We are going to mutilate some life felt. Oh, wait a minute. Just build. A, uh, oh, man. Not me, JB. I already got. Just build. All right. Let me take you off. Sorry, comics. I'll pull you off of there, if that's what you're saying. And I'm going to move you over here and move you over here. All right. Here we go. Big, uh, ready, set, go. Spin that shit. Spin it harder. Come on. Yeah, there you go. And it is. <laughs> oh, nice. Dollar bin. Is that fodder. dollar bin fodder? You have free shipping. Dollar bin yeah. fodder has won free shipping. All right, now let's go ahead and get this camera up here to here and here and thank everybody who has joined me in another epic, epic edition of the comic book pop-up shop show. Mr. Chad Arch CG was kind enough to give us a I've never done anything like this. I hope this, you know, I mean, it's, if you don't know the story of why I am not a fan of this guy anymore, and I don't care about spine ticks because this thing's about to get mutilated. Um, <laughs> uh, I was a fan. I was a fan of Liefeld until I, yeah. per I met him in person and right. spent a lot of money at his stand and, and, and had bought shit from him, had him sign it. And then when I asked him if he'd sign, you know, the one page of this book, my, my, my sketchbook that every other artist was happy to do, he didn't, wouldn't even say anything to me. He just turned around, walked off, pointed to his handler who walked up to me and told me 40 bucks to which I say 40 bucks. Yeah. Fuck your punk ass right oh. here. Life fell oh. right there. There's your fucking $40. You piece of shit. So guess what? Not just once, but twice, because there's two of these damn things. Here's another Liefeld, you son bitch. Next time you want to charge somebody, whatever, 80 bucks for your fucking books, and you sign them, and he asks you to sign something, just say, I can't do it. Don't be a dick about it, because then I might have to tear your shit up like that and just throw it at the fucking camera like that. Son of a bitch. All right, now that that rant's over. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking... Thanks for joining me on the <laughs> comic book pop-up shop show. Woo! I'm fucking hot now. Holy shit. So, before I go, I just wanted to say, <laughs> this is about 10 minutes from me, smug as fuck. Yeah, Dollar Ben. Tell him I just ripped his shit up on my show live. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Coming up tonight, real quick, folks. If you send me a shirt, I will pimp it, baby. I wear size large. Thanks to TiVo, Lords of the Long Box. Love you. He's coming up live tonight. And then it's 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. I am the special guest for Matt, the boy who had seven. I and missed we are the gonna whole get the rip. first. You missed the whole freaking rip. Are you serious? Now you gotta catch it on the rewind. Oh, I man. got crazy to rip this shit off. And See, here's a piece of it right here. Now you, you got, got people dying to rewatch. Yeah, just, your wife's. Hey. See, your wife is <laughs> right now. I have to rewatch. There you go. Catch it on the rewind. <laughs> Tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. On Matt, the boy who had Seven's channel, we are going to get the very first appearance of someone in the community that we have all been dying to see. The Haitian Terry sensation. Actually, I got to say it right. I got to say it right. 
My man, Terry23, is getting in front of the camera and accepting his love from Matt, the boy who had seven, who is doing big things. So is my man, Triad RC. Please join him this Friday. And join me tonight for Disco After Dark. Don't forget, everybody, we had a good time. We had a good time. We had a good time. <laughs> <laughs>